Hey guys, Brick Yo Yo here, and I have some exciting news to share with all of you. Lego uh, just announced this morning set number 7071043, Hogwarts Castle. Um, this is the big rumor direct to consumer uh, Hogwarts Castle build that um, I think we all sort of knew it was coming, but like it's here and there's pictures of it, and I'm super excited about this. I know I'm an Ninjago channel, but I'm also a Harry Potter fan, and like, I'm I'm definitely getting this set. So, um, it comes with six thousand and twenty pieces, which makes it the second largest Lego set, only behind, of course, the Millennium Falcon, and it only retails for four hundred dollars, which is a lot, but for six thousand pieces, that's a bargain, actually. Um, it'll come out September 1st, um, August 15th for VIP members, and it includes four minifigures of the staff, which you will see a little later. Um, so, you know, and there's, it's micro scale, so there's a lot of micro figures, and I, a lot of people don't like that choice. I... I was skeptical, but now that I see it in person, um, I think that it was a really good decision to make it micro scale because they didn't have to, you know, making it minifigure scale would just make it so big that it just wouldn't be practical to even release it. Um, I still would have preferred a sort of, uh, you know, have the Hogwarts Great Hall and the section from the Wanting Willow combine into a larger set. Come on, airplane, really? And, um, you know, make a... just make a bigger minifig scale, but combining multiple sets. You know, uh, there's a lot of stickers. I think every room has stickers on the back wall, but I think it really helps to flesh out the world. Here we got the room of requirement and the potion potions classroom. So as you can see, you know, um, there's a giant cauldron in the back, which is actually just a regular cauldron piece and, you know, more stickers. There's a lot of stickers in this set. Um, room of Requirement, uh, Gryffindor Common Room, which I think looks really good. Chamber of Secrets, and interestingly, the Basilisk is actually just the regular snake that Voldemort has in the collectible minifigure series. So Nagini and the Basilisk, Basilisk are the same, uh, which is funny. There is the uh, four founders who are actual minifigures, and I think that's re that's a really nice touch. Um, I don't think we would have ever gotten any of these characters in minifig form, you know, in any other way. Um, it is Salazar Slytherin uses Sensei Wu's beard. Which, which really works, actually, but um, it's just kind of funny. And uh, yeah, there's the box. It's a great, great set. Um, I didn't show all the rooms because there's, there's just so many. Um, there's so many more pictures, too, um, if you head over to Brick Set on the set page. That's where I got these pictures from. There's a lot of pictures. Um, it's very, like, comprehensive which I like. Um, we got the Hungarian Horntail from Goblet of Fire. We have the Flying Car from Year 2, Whomping Willow, Hagrid's Hut. There's the boats, um, which are look like a really interesting build. Um, you know, Dementors. So it kind of encompasses all of the years, which I think is really cool. Um, I'm, I'm super excited about this set. Um, so... Yeah, hopefully I can get it. I probably will. But uh, yeah. So um, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.